Hello everybody, I'm back from uh, my uh, vacation in Croatia and I am all ready to try uh, some preordained brews. This card has just been banned on Monday, we are excited to try it out um, both for myself and also for my YouTube. Um, I'll definitely be playing some preordained decks in the near future and uh, this was the first one I wanted to try. Um, of course I'm gonna do uh, you know Merc Tide, the classic Sunday Merc Tide on YouTube. Um, where Preordain will shine, because <laughs> definitely a huge boost to the archetype, as it is a much better card than Consider. And uh, it is also a much better card than Consider in this deck. Uh, this deck has been playing Consider actually for a while, but uh, you know, of course, you'd love to play Preordain instead. Um, you the creatures of choice are Swift Spear, Channeler, and Soul Scar Mage. You don't have Ragavan since it dies to the Orc, and if you can try to play without Creatures that die to Orc, for example, uh, Sprite Dragon as well, uh, it's fine. I love Ledger Shredder, very happy to play it in any deck uh, that can cast it, especially with this many cheap cards, I think Ledger Shredder will be okay. You have Breach as well. But yeah, basically, if you never play with Preordain, which is, you know, likely that you didn't, because this card has never been legally modern, or maybe it was for PT uh, Philadelphia only, I guess, and then they banned both Preordain and Ponder. Um, yeah, this card is just a 4 of vintage decks. It is a 4 of in many legacy decks, so it's clearly a cantrip of a power level very superior to consider. So if you've never played with Preordain, just trust that uh, you know players that can choose to play either easily choose Preordain and consider isn't even a remotely option in any format. Uh, outside of, of course, uh, Modern, where uh, you know cantrips were banned, like Ponder and Preordain. Anyway, Preordain has been unbanned, which is obviously I'm super happy about. Um, this deck is uh, also does have Lava Dart, so you have many ways to answer the Orc uh, outside of the Anoy Hits and Bolt. So yeah, uh, let's get into with this Bluer Prowess League. Bluer Prowess unfortunately hasn't really shined uh, recently, as it um, I guess it's like the Orc just punishes uh, um, creature decks a lot. Pirate Spellbomb in the sideboard is kind of bad, but you have to for these uh, Santifier and Beck. One draw number one. Been on a boat for seven days, so whenever I'm sit on the ground like this, I mean when I'm normal, uh, it's all the swingy. So right now I'm looking at the screen. And uh, it's very swingy. <laughs> even even in my bed, it was it was swinging tonight. You have to you know wait a little bit to readjust. Alright, let's begin. It's the Giganta Mirror, and our we have only one land, but Preordain will dig three cards deep to find the second one. You made some Pesto? Nice. Not very common to make it. Alright, let's begin. Six cards versus seven. Ooh, Prismatic Vista and Giganta. What's that, Enchantress? Yeah. What color did I choose? White. Okay. Excellent draw in um, Mishra's Bubble. Perfect. Second land is exactly what I wanted. Why is there Legend Shredder with Sprite Dragon? In general, I just didn't want to play X1s.
Enchantress presence. I swear, in the, in my trip, I have um, played a lot of Legacy. I we brought uh, some Legacy decks, and I've been playing with Days forever. So anytime I pull in and tapped out, my brain immediately goes to, I have days in my hand. Do I have days in my hand? There's no days in this format. All right, uh, let's try to achieve a delirium. With preordain, which of course is a sorcery, which is very good. If it was an instant, I wouldn't have had delirium, but it's a sorcery, so I have delirium. Another huge upside. I think I like both of these cards actually. I think I like both of these cards, but I want to play Soul Scar Mage first. Kendra Spell Seeker. Ooh, that's a card I haven't considered. It's just that my love for Ledger Shredder is very high. So if I get the chance of casting a card like that, I want to do it. Well, this deck has a lot of answers for the Shredder. So, sorry, for the Orc. So you don't want to play a creature that dies to Orc ATB, but you, you have no problem in playing Shredder because you just kill the Orc afterwards. And then you draw a card. You don't want them to uh, kill anything immediately. What can I do now? I can go Swift Spear Preordain. Or I can go Swift Spear Mutagenic Growth on the World Breach. Now, how many cards in the graveyard is that? And am I lethal? Ooh, that's high. Past Mengu left the audio at 100? That's weird. Hello, Matt. How's it going? 50 months for my friend Matt, who was with me in uh, Croatia for the whole week. Good morning, Matt. I hope you had a lovely return in uh, UK. Is it rainy there? Or is it still... Um, or is it hot? I'm early? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was excited to, to go back. And now I'm already... I'm, it's already my, uh, math time here. Because, of course, if I go Breach, I lose Delirium if I just want to flashback Mutagenic Growth. So, I don't think I'm lethal, like, at all. And I can't even kill this because they have Sterling Growth that gives a Shroud. I think my best bet is actually to go Swift Spear Preordain here. So, I'll do that. We've been on the islands. On the coast. Actually, not on the islands. On the coast. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, another Swiss beer. I'm actually taking this. Yeah, I don't really have much to do this turn with the mana. I don't want another land, though. And attack. I block the sweet spear. I'm happy to just mean Jenny Growth pump this. Yeah. Mute Jenny Growth pump this. Take two. This one becomes a two three. Uh no, thank you. Although actually it wouldn't be that bad with a breach, but I can just cast it from the graveyard anyway. They go to three. Okay. Why not blue or merc die today? Uh tomorrow. Tomorrow. Usually on stream is Friday. And on YouTube is Sunday. Let's keep the tradition up. You don't trust your math, but you counted 15 damage. Uh, to be honest, I did not do the math. Maybe I could have had 15 damage. I just assumed that I wouldn't because I would lose the Lyrium here if I go breach mutagenic growth. So it's the same at the end, you know? I, I didn't do the math, but I think that you shouldn't count this as a 3-3 three, three if you plan on going Breach Mutagenic Growth. Yeah, to go for Confinement. But Confinement is not that easy to hold. 
Like, I get it. I can't attack them now or do something now. But it's not that easy to maintain. I might lose the game to confinement. But you have to, like, you just keep your draw step and you discard a card every turn. For those of you who don't know what this card does, it's an old card and never printed it with damage to. And it says you have Shroud, you prevent damage to out to you, and you just keep a draw step. And you have to discard a card return. So the, 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 the requirements for this are quite high. And bottom. Actually, let's go bottom exile. And then I go bubble. You have shroud, so I can't even bubble them. What's the auto Tawara? No, my opponent will likely not I don't know actually, but they will likely not be able to maintain the confinement. Like sometimes you just sack it so that you can recast it or put it on top with the land. Like it's really not that not that easy to maintain it. Surely they have Enchantress Presence, but you skip a draw step and you have to discard a card. So you have to advance your game plan as well as discarding a card every turn. It's it's really not that easy. My opponent needs to have a good hand right now. Which is possible. I'm not saying uh, I win, but... We don't play Otawara. Like now they're redrawing, but like if they break now with a couple of draws that got at random, they just lose the game, okay? Do I want to bolt the Sanctum Weaver? Yeah, I kind of do. I get the Surveil Trigger. I think it's better than nothing. Is there any world where Iguanda will breach? I think not, because I want to go breach. I want to hold with old up uh, Lightning Bolt in case my opponent chooses not to maintain the solitary confinement. Because if I go breach, DRC bubbles, draw a bunch of cards, they just don't maintain this, and they cast another one or whatever, you know? Okay, wow, they discarded Emrakul <laughs> to the confinement. Yeah. It's tough, they have two Enchantress Presences now, so it's gonna be hard. Three, yeah, now, now I think we lose. Hello, Cobb. Uh, do I think I'm gonna go bolt, bolt. But yeah, I have low chances of winning the game now. Opponent. I mean, again, they might break and just draw a bunch of lands and lose, but unlikely. Is that basically old was born and with damage too? 
reprint, reprint, reprint. None of these cards were legal. Print, like straight up new print, Sanctum Weaver. And then I was the image one. I have nine cards currently in end. See this? That's a very good one. And it has Shroud because of the Stone Grove. I guess now I can concede. It's pretty safe to assume uh, they have me under the lock now. And if you saw, I eventually they came in with Emrakul. Or I guess that's in a spin or two. It's okay, good game opponent. I got my nice welcome back to modern after after a week with uh, Enchantress. Not the funniest of the archetypes. I think I'll have Pirate Spellbomb since they're likely to have a Sanctifier in deck. They might not. I'm assuming they do. Is the new modern? The meta game shifted to. Uh, the meta game shifted to. Enchantress? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I cut the white part. I don't know. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's wrong. Without Ragavan, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm looking for a second land first. So I'm gonna go land for your Dane. Buongiorno, Angelo. I'm looking for a second land. That's top priority with a hand like this. If you go land Swift Spear, draw for turn, preordain. You see, if you don't have a land in the top four cards, you just miss your second land drop. I think that's too bad. So, whereas that way, I'm digging like seven cards. It's just highly unlikely I fail. Top priority with a hand like this is to hit your second land. It's not to make a one damage spell. Shuller, welcome back. Thank you, Shuller. Welcome. Welcome to you for the sixth month. And that's okay. We bricked. Looking at the top uh, seven cards. Or eight card, maybe. No, seven cards. But that's okay. You still gotta play for your outs. This is a... A game where you should try your best to win. Sometimes you just can't. You want to play Stomp or Bunkrusher Giant? Sure. Yeah, you could. Not great, but you could. I don't even Mishra's bubble. You're watching from Argentina. Is it late night there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Enchantress will do Oblivion Stone. But it's okay. Alright. Fortunately, not winning this one, but. We got a good, we got a good game one at least. Buongiorno, people. The Pro Tour Top 8 competitor. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you must you must hear me saying Buongiorno Pivo a lot. And uh, Pivo is uh, the first in Marco de Pivo who top hated the, the Pro Tour just two weeks ago. So, you know, you must have heard him his name a lot before even knowing <laughs> what face he had. With Timur Rhinoceroses. Blood Moon. Okay. All right. We got a basic mountain. Let's play Swiss Spear. And let's play the Spell Bees. Yeah. And attack for six. It's very important that you play the non-haste creature first and then the haste creature. Because if you counted, 
with the non ace if i had played three spear last turn instead of this i would have dealt one damage last turn and two damage this turn whereas I played Soulscar Mage and I dealt four damage this turn. So I dealt one extra damage because I played the non-haste creature. It's not intuitive, but uh, you will learn it. Sometimes you have to play the haste creature if you suspect that you're not going to get through next turn. But if you do suspect that you will, then the non-haste creature makes more sense. How's it going, Catervus? Thank you. I did have a nice vacation, yes. Alright, opponent almost did. If this spell press was a mutagenic growth, I would have won the game. I wonder if I should bolt you. I don't think I want to. Because like, you're dead anyway to my bolt plus pirate spell bomb. So might as well just don't let him know. Tom Manuto, thank you to you too for the thirteenth month. Yeah, they played Lama Main. That's okay. Like he drew them a card, but yeah, it also made this card cost three instead of one. I guess it was slightly better to leave this on top, but uh, unlikely that they will get rid of their own blood then, so it doesn't really matter. Ossification. Mm-hmm. Basically on thin ice, but for one more mana, and it also gets rid of a planeswalker. Although in modern, not too many planeswalkers. I guess Brandon Six. That's the one that come up. Maybe Teferi. Anyway, they pass. End of turn, bomb you for two. Untap. I guess I'll just bolt in upkeep. Solitary confinement, okay. I guess I know what you have on top, so I'm gonna let you draw. Cast it and then I bolt you. No response to it. Basically just not real reason to to do things before. Yeah, now I think it's a good reason. <laughs> Alright. We managed to win the game where we break the land forever. And the reason is that my opponent deck is a highly, um, what's the word, highly inconsistent. So sometimes they just don't do literally anything. And that's okay. That's why I like to be on this side of the matchup <laughs> or on the deck choice in general. And that's that's okay. Like again, it's uh, some high variance games, decks, so <laughs> you can draw your conclusion if you want to, but not much to say outside of that. In general, it's always be, be on the proactive side of the matchup. And that's why control decks tend to be not very good in Magic anymore. All right. I'm not too high on these. It might be bad, but if they have like the Sanctifier, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, you can still splash white. I'm not, I'm not saying you should play uh, this version again. I just um, come up with this uh, list with uh, a teammate of the Team Worldly Council, and uh, that's okay, I think. No reason to fetch Mountain. They, they, they never attack you, and if they have Blood Moon, it's literally the same. So just, just get the Steam Bend. Right, that one needs to die. Cities. I 
Levitical preordained. Uh, don't want any of them, I think. Selection for a third color has a lot of problems, of course. Sometimes you draw your white spell without a fetch land, sometimes you play against burn. So, you know, surely against Urza Saga, you'd love to have wear tear. Against Sanctifier, uh, um, in, uh, Prismatic Ending is much better. Like in this matchup, Prismatic Ending is great. Bright Spell is pretty weak, so I can see that. I think I have enough blue sources, I can't just go mountain here. Um, I'm gonna go Shredder Channeler. I mm, guess I should have done it pre-con because I could draw Mishra's Bubble. I guess at that point I'll hold it. And once again, look at Preordain, just giving Delirium to the RC. And this is a very important thing that will come up a lot even when you play a deck like Blue Red Merc Tide. Consider is an instant, you're already loaded on instant. The fact that Preordain is a sorcery is just so good. Whenever you play Legacy, if you do, you notice how with Ponder and uh, with Ponder, I guess they don't have iteration anymore, but back in the days with iteration as well, you were able to get the Lyrum Tone Channeler easier. Whereas now they cut explosives, sorry, they cut uh, engineered, mm, they cut this again, expressive iteration from Legacy. So you have to, you're still lower on the Lyrum. Basically like if you have eight sorcery, the DRC now is better, right? DRC, got much better with the unbanding of a preordained. Buongiorno Tomavo. I right, play New Cities. Yeah, Preordain is a lot of fun. Because cantrip in general is a very fun. And you know, the reason why I love Legacy is uh, the consistency of the blue decks uh, thanks, to pre thanks to cantrip. Of course, Preordain is worse than a Ponderance and a Brainstorm, but still. Anyway, they do that, okay. I think I'll get rid of this. Uh, maybe actually Soulstorm Mage, yeah. But DRC definitely needs a buff, right? When they printed Orc, the DRC decks got much worse. Glad that Watsi agreed and Merc that should be a top decky modern. Right? When I read the, the ban announcement, I was super happy to read it. <laughs> super happy to read it. I mean, to be honest, I mean, of course I'm biased, but like Blue or Merc that is magic. Like, like, when you think about magic, I don't think about Cascade decks or Scam or Tron. I think about interaction and, and just Blue and Merc died. Like that's the reason why I felt in love with Modern after MH2. If if Modern looked like the Modern before MH2, <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. Anyway, my opponent went off this turn. Wow, pretty crazy. You want to upkeep the heat? No, not anymore, I guess. What an amazing turn they did. Yeah, I guess I lose this one. They they, they really went off. They went from not doing anything one games to like doing it all in this game. And game one was kind of weird, as in a uh, we, we had a good start, but they they don't suck at starts. Good job, librarian. Yeah, Grixis Grixis could also be a thing now. All right, I think I'll concede. This time they have way too many cards in end, and they have another city. It's sure I have by right, but I don't want to be here waiting for my opponent to combo. All right, GG. Uh, it's okay. I've lost to Enchantress, but you're saying that. The MVPs are still the Ring and Bow Masters. I disagree. I think the MVP is uh, 
is Bull Monster. Ring is is a great card. But when people were like, it's so surprising to me that the reaction to people banned it. Like they expected something to be banned in modern, as if they just did not follow the PT at all. Woo! They're both Meister with a 56th month. Yes, we got some fresh new content again. Yes, indeed. Today I'm gonna do the decks of the week and the delayed of four days because I just returned home last night. And then we're gonna upload on my YouTube this, the videos that I will record in the next days. The Cascade deck looks super sweet. Ah, uh, not really though. <laughs> not really. Um, that's fine. But that deck does not... Looks like the, the, the funniest thing to play against. I'm excited for Mind's Desire. That's a weird unban to me. But we'll see. The thing, the things with the thing with uh, legacy uh, ban lists is that uh, it's the weird thing of legacy ban lists is that most of the ban list cards are just from the reserve list, and you don't really want to move them, like Heartcraft or um, Survival of the Fittest or whatnot. And by unbanning the Mind's Desire. You basically just push that four Candelabra of Taunus deck, which is obviously inaccessible because it's like, honestly, I don't even know how much it is, but a lot. And uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Because we all love Legacy, but we all love the idea of Legacy. The actual thoughts of spending two salaries on uh, four cards is not, not too exciting. But we will see, we will see. Of course, uh, Magic Online is a different world. <laughs> 56 months, yes indeed, that's so much. It's 3,000 for a playset, yeah. Okay, is this the mirror match? I guess it is. Not only it will kill the Swiss Spear regardless of uh, um, the pump spell, regardless of uh, mutagenic growth, because of Swiss for me. Okay, ooh, Dandal issues, welcome with a prime sub. So now my question is, do I go Swiss Scrimmage Heat or do I go just go Swiss Spear Heat? I think I'll go Swiss Spear Heat. Guaranteeing the two damage. Sebasan, <laughs> uh, 33 months. Sorry, 34 months. It's Storm playable now. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's modern and the PT just passed, so it's now it's now a former run by influencers. So, you know, if uh Matt Nas comes up with a new storm list. You you can uh, you can uh, you can play storm in modern. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so the things with preordain is that you want to fetch before. <laughs> Although I don't really want to fetch mountain right now. So or nor I want to take three damage. So I'm just gonna go. Sorry, I'm gonna go preordain first. Alright, I don't want a second breach. I do like Bubble a lot. Bubble is just free glorious anthem until the end of the turn. And I'll bubble myself because I fetch land. Okay. I'll breach Bubble, and that will uh, not be lethal. I think I just don't mind attacking with both. If they have mutagenic growth, they will eat one of my creatures. But it's tough to just jam it into open mana and two cards in end, you know. They might. It's just... I guess they are doing it. Yeah. It's okay. 
I think it was a, a risk to take and didn't have a single spell, unfortunately. I'll fetch up a tap land here. I don't want to take damage and I don't want to draw that Arid Mans on top of the deck. This was so long. Or what were what are you doing these mornings, people? Are you playing uh, some standard to practice for the for the worlds or uh, just having some fun with legacy? Okay, put an Exiled Lava Dart. Let's see if they have a land for it. Looks like they don't. Nice. Very good. I'm putting a Mist Land Drop. That was a very important land drop there. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Can I do something fun with Underworld Breach? You trophy right now? Wow. Wait, what, people? Uh, let's go land Preordain. Because I can still go Breach uh, Bubble. I couldn't have gone... Uh, Double heat. Whoa. Alright, that's scary. I think I might just win the game now. We'll see. Obviously, I can't drop both. This is not a brainstorm. Uh, what, what can I do? I think I just draw a lightning bolt and attack. Why don't Sprite Dragon? Uh, I don't like that... If you're like without a spell or a bubble, you can cast it into uh, into orc, or like if you don't have instance. Like I just don't want to play X ones basically. Okay. What do you do now? Any growth. Uh 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 uh. Here. What if I just bolt them? This one becomes a 4-5, and this one becomes a 3-4. Hmm. I'll just say the standard right now. I have no clue and I have no reason to play it. I will just be a modern legacy, modern legacy streamer. Oh, I try to maybe some uh, limited if I decide to attend some limited tournament, but otherwise I'll just focus on constructed. Modern and Legacy. Okay, so they're pumping this one. Now, if they have another Mutagenic Grow, they kind of blow me away. So I think it's right to just bolt, to just bolt you. Popper. Oh yeah, for sure, Popper. When it's uh, nearby the Popper Geddon, I'll get into Popper again. I have a benefit, I'm a bolt face. So that they go to one and I have a lava dart on top of my deck and I still kill this one. So like it's a trade, Swiss Spear for Soul Scar Mage and I have a lava dart on top. When are we getting the Menguchi Finance streams? Ah, uh, speaking of Menguchi Finance streams, so um, last night Last night, I came home, and I checked my, uh, you know, my my Magic Online account finance, and I saw that Candelabra went from uh, three ticks to yesterday. They were buying, they were buying it at nineteen, right? And I said, oh, I should buy, I should sell them. I'm gonna wait for the weekend, and now boom, it's eleven this morning. <laughs> I sold it yesterday. It was nineteen. <laughs> Classic. It's okay. It's okay. Commander Master? Nah, that, that, that set... I don't think that set's impact uh, uh, Magic Online at all. Alright, Mirror Match. That's the classic Gucci Finance, right? right? It is the classic on Gucci Finance right there. Uh, Love Art is kind of bad. Although it can get to like a storm count or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's just only do this though. I don't want to bring in plus of storms. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I got a good hand. I've been trying a lot of pre I feel like it was in my opening game every game. Why not white? I, I don't have, I don't really have a great answer. I just I just like uh, to start with a classic version right now. I'll get to white later, I'm sure. I think I wanna go Swift Spear rather than Bolt. I feel like I don't know, might be a mistake. You think Preordain is better than considering Blue Red Merktide? Yes. Preordain is played in four copies and vintage. I hope that. What? Alright, alright, so they played that, that Canara spell, spell Seer card. Hmm. And you can see now it's a card that survives the Love It Art, Orc, Brandon Six, stuff like that. Uh, should I just go bold this? I think I will. I hope for the best. But expect the worst. Please, opponent, don't have it. Please, don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. No! No! Alright, so much is that. That's a 5-5. Five five. Three damage on it. I guess I'm attacking regardless. Man, Mijangro is so busted in these matchups. Wow. But right, I mean, it was a two for two. I guess they were afraid of uh, dying, maybe. Of course, what well, Bowmaster is fine. I mean, it's a good card. You change uh, your deck around. You can't just ban every time. <laughs> There's a new card that makes a uh, meta game change. Hello, opponent plays Stone of Eric, which says if a creature opponent control the die exiled instead. Hmm. Didn't they like sequence in the wrong way? Oh. Anyway, let's go for um, DRC. Uh, DRC and Pot Preordain or Swiss Pre I guess I just want to attack. But yeah, once again, Preordain just getting me Delirium because I'm missing Sorcery. This is, I don't know, the whatever time it happened. Underworld Breach. I think I'm actually graveyard in this. My opponent has the stone and I'm likely gonna pop it to turn off Delirium. Like, just decision now, for example. If this was a consider, I mean, not that you should play consider in this deck if you didn't have preordained, but if it was a consider, I would have seen Shredder, drawn it, and then the next card is a mountain. And I draw mountain. Okay. So this is a chump attack into the Stone of Eric. Which isn't exciting. I might look for a spell. Actually, if they crack the Stone of Eric, they even get Delirium, funnily enough. That was a good one. I think I just have to chump attack and then go Shredder or Chandler. I think that's my only my only play here. Can we say that Puritan has unlocked new decks? No, no way. That was not even a week yet. It will unlock new decks, but the modern Heave Mind uh, will take a long time before I do that. Or at least a month, I think. Wow, they don't do the thing. Surprised. I try to break for Preordain. 
I literally returned home uh, yesterday night and this is my first league. I haven't tried anything expect, except a match against Enchantress that I lost. Okay. They have the Leerns that are forced to attack. Of an art. I'll take it all. Like for example, if you have white man in this matchup, and you draw a secret foundry, it's bad. So this is what I was saying before. Let's hope no spell peers. <laughs> Leave on fire. Thank you for the third month. Yes, I had a great holiday. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Lands, no gracias. And what we got here? Mm. That's good. Uh, let's go for um, hand, bottom, exile. Now let me bolt the DRC. Because you, you can't uh, play a spell and pump that. Let's see what I draw this card. What if I draw this card prior to in here? Yeah. I have the spell here and I wanted to make this into a 2 4. Sorry, spell uh, card here. This is the Lyran, by the way. I don't have any DRC right now, but it's still very Break blacks. Break master flex for the 11th month. Welcome. All right, I think I want to stay back with the shredder. Just attacking only with the Swiss spear. Yeah, I think it was too risky. Opponent has two cards in the end. I could have gone for the win, but I'm at six. I'm too scared. Yeah, maybe it's a mistake, but I feel like I'm ahead in lands. They might have mutagenic growth, but that means they go to three. I'm certainly not taking this damage. Okay, they go to three. One card left. Underworld Breach. Okay. What do you do there? Thankfully, they don't have Mish Mishra's Bubble. I guess I can just bolt my Swiss Spear and pass. No, they played the RC instead. Okay. Draw. Underworld Breach. GG. My Underworld Breach is better than yours. Is better than yours. All right. I take a quick bottom break and I'll come back for the next round.
Ooh, people, Lebo, a gift of the sub. Thank you, people. Round number three. Doc Fade in 07. Perfect hand. Great hand. <sighs> What's the sequence in here? I think it's just DRC pass. Play. Friendly easy. Thank you, thank you. All right, that might be blue black. Blue black suffers burn a lot, and we basically play burn here. Every win with blue prowess is a gifted sub. Woo! I better win then. I better win then. I think this is an easy graveyard. We got Delirium. Delirium. My opponent is on 11. And all they've done is playing a Preordain. And people spending all the PT money. <laughs> yes. All right, Polluted Delta. Oh, it's Steam Vents. Hmm. Fire Ice, okay. King. You to five. So they took three from the steam vents. They might have Flame of Honor. Maybe there's an upcaster mage a Flame of Honor deck. Mark that regent. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. One mana, six damage. Hello. Hello. I'll wait a little bit. I'm expecting them to concede. Opponent doesn't want to. They said, you don't, Mango. I won't concede. Anoli Heat. One of the, one of my, honestly, like, MH2 had, like, I don't know, 50 bangers or whatever. Anoli Heat is definitely one of the best uh, card they made. It's, like, actual card that was needed for the format. To make it as good as it is right now. I bring this blue and Merc died. I'm assuming I don't bring in anything. Maybe I'm only here to kill the Merc. I don't want to cut Lava to Art because they have Ragavan most likely. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I prefer Lava to Art than an only Heat. Nah, nah, that's not true. If they play Merc Tide, then I can't kill it or lose. I'll leave the three and two split. Oh, people, I just saw your tweet about uh, your trophy legacy. You know, I've been playing that deck uh, in my trip. A lot made some adjustment, but yeah, basically it's the same list. This is when I made a video about a a while ago. You're playing powder keg. I have no rod, I guess. 
The main deck I have the full uh, four trolls, which is excellent to reanimate. But yeah, if you're interested in legacy in this deck, I made a video with this a while ago. I guess it was for channel Fireball though. It wasn't for my channel. You only more than Shadow. Yeah, I am saying. All right, um, this hand is not great, but uh, you don't want a mulligan. A little bit too many lands. Hey, basta, my guy. I got a top land. If they go Ledger Shredder, Mishra's Bubble, I'll cry. But nobody plays Ledger Shredder anymore. They're all scared of drawing cards somehow. Okay, that's a spell. Oh, Fire Ice. Wow, okay. Dead man walking, Solskar Mage, ready to die. And it feels so weird to see a Preordain on the stack. They bought them both. They bought them both again. And they found a land. This was considered, they would have found the land tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, they would have found the land. But instead, they're after bottoming four cards, they found the land. Uh, and bottom, exile, and then ba boom, ba boom. I could have also gone lava art. Buenos dias, Daniel. <laughs>
it's like a gamble basically let's go for swift spear followed by expressive iteration You made it to Mykonos? All right, enjoy your vacation then. Okay, as you can see, my opponent is playing clunky cards like Counterspell, ha ha ha. And we just kill them with the Breach. Kill them with the Breach. I don't know, whatever, it's just, we win. I just wanna, I'm just gonna click some buttons now if they don't concede. <laughs> All right, they conceded. Thank you, opponent, for saving everyone some time. Yeah, basically, like, sometimes you have to make those choices where you have a card like that in the face of a revealed relic, and you're like, ah, should I, should I, should I leave it on top? Because if you do, it might be a dead draw, but it also is just game over, so, you know, high risk, high reward, I guess. And we got another gifted sub by Peebo, who promised to do a gifted sub every match win. Honestly, ever since people did that, I went to 0 0 so I wish people started. I started with that at the beginning. I would have beat Enchant Wars. Viana got the gift that's up. Nice. Mm. <laughs> that's okay, I'm joking. Alright, on the play. Giganta. And then spells keep. Mm -hmm. I'll play against that red deck with burn spell. Imagine it grows like very good against red decks, pretty bad against white decks. Swamp. Is that push? Voot? Hmm. Uh, now my opponent is gonna go. I can go with Genetic Growth. It becomes a four five. Then they scam it. I mean, Genetic Growth again. It becomes an eight. So it still dies. I love Gigantha. Well, in this archetype, I think Gigantha is good. Yeah. Um, how about I go Underworld Breach here? Yeah, I think it's the right play. Unintuitive, but I think it's the right play. I have three types in my graveyard, and I only need an instant or a sorcery to get Delirium. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I have sixed. I should have needed a growth. The... Uh, this 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 misclick is gonna cost me the game. I killed machine growth, the spell, got a six, and then only hit this. Might have still die to this though. A Chum block. Rock. GG. Yeah, if I played Mijani Growth here, maybe I would still die to the Dothi anyway, but I don't know, at least I wouldn't have just been dead on board. Anoli Heat. I think that's about it. Loud art answers orc, so we gotta keep them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Do 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 do. Two on the plate. Keep. You want to cut Ledger Shredder? No. Do that. I've seen Jarvis Griggs' Arcanist. I have not. Is it cool? Put the RC and put an upkeep stop. I board Arcanist. Put Preordain. It's nice. Draw. All right. Bing. One damage. So it's gonna make go. I'm gonna go land orc here. I guess I can save it and then love it after the orc. Ah, fury. Oh no, they have it again. <laughs> I think I have to go Metagenic Growth, just hoping they don't have the... Just hoping they don't have the... The scam effect. They do. Ah, yeah. Three cards. If they have orc to finish the game. They do. Alright. GG. See if I draw a bubble, I can still uh, unholy heat the fury. No. Maybe I should have kept the land to go double kill spell there. Maybe it was better. Okay, game round number five against Yaga. Good end, good end. Very good end. All right, let's begin. Steam Benz Ragavan. Unfortunately, I didn't draw any of my Lava Darts and friends. I'm gonna go land Channeler Bubble here. Why don't you just dig for removal spells? There it is. And then I'll crack it immediately. Because I might be playing Orc and I don't wanna 
give them the chance to cast it. If they offer the trade, I'll take it, but I'm assuming that we'll play a removal spell. All right. Very, very happy to have given the option to have the opportunity to trade. Now, places plays I can have. Uh, my opponent can go for uh, Spell Pierce, but I still want to try and kill that Channeler. So I'm going to go um, Channeler Bolt. I'm going to use Mountain. Don't want a third land. A Delirium. They pass with counter spell up. I'm gonna go Swiss Spear. Very good draw by the way, Lion Bolt. A preordain. Mishra's bubble. Hmm, I think I'll I think I'll leave it on top. It's kind of free and it but it pumps my Swift Spear. Do I wanna leave the Swift Spear on top for next turn? Probably not. It's out for six. Spell Skittles, I only started to listen to the interview. I didn't really um, listen it entirely, but did I talk about Preordain or was it recorded before? I'm doing something on the turn. Consider. I think I'll bolt this now. This is very good. I think I'll leave it on top. I'm assuming what's going to happen is I play the RC opponent plays Counterspell. I play Breach. And then I go off a little bit. Wow, they dashed Ragaman. And they exiled a land. Okay. I think I want to go the RC breach. They didn't have spell pierce a, a bunch of turns back. Don't expect them to have it now. There it is. I was just looking for the uh, mutagenic growth. Basically in this deck you don't need mana for breach. All right, now let's think if I have lethal. They clearly don't have Lightning Bolt. I think I must have lethal, right? I must have lethal. I think I need to keep the Lyrium somehow. Probably not. 
I'm assuming add lethal, but we will click the buttons. Of course, you have to mill two cards. So. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very easy to get both creatures to a 10 power. All right, GG. Now, Merc died. Now, I feel like on the draw, they will keep all the Ragavans. On the, on the play, I think it's reasonable to cut Lava Darts. I don't even really have that much to cut from this match. I do want the Anomi Heat for Murktide. Buongiorno, Fracom. Fracom, I heard you won the Ultimate Guard t shirt with my name. Congrats. Did you already receive it? Paul Gazilla. I really don't know what to cut, so I'll cut a lot of art anyway. Thank you, Pogazilla, for the seventh month. Alright. Yeah, Ultimate Guard uh, did uh, some giveaway both at MS Barcelona and online. Give away, giving away free t shirt uh, of the team Ultimate Guard. Don't have a second land yet, but hopefully, get there with the bubbles. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, spell bomb isn't isn't great, but I think it's a necessary evil. I'm right, glad I drew my one of lava dart. Sorry, two of lava dart. E, I think I'm gonna bubble myself if I see a land. I hold the shredder. If I don't, I need to crack it again. He think a second land is necessary. If I was a land, though, I would have kept the bubble to draw with uh, Shredder. Man's really bad. Really bad. Jealous of you casting Preordain. I also would love to have it. Land for Mangu? No. I think playing Swiss Spear is better. I have two mutagenic growth in end. I want them to play lightning bolts on my thing and so I can cast my cards. If I just go bolt here, sure. It's not bad, but I don't think I'm in a rush to do that. I can just do it next turn. DRC still dies to bolt anyway. It's not like Ledger Shredder or um, Prowess Creature that just grows out of control. Lightning Bolt. They got Delirium. Look at that. Zero mana plus three plus three. Let's see. Let's see what's up. They can go just on only heat now. And then I can't save it anymore. Or nothing. They have two cards. Lend? Hello, Bethany. Welcome. There it is. I think top priority right now is to bolt this DRC. I don't want to do it to my opponent's turn so that if they have a counter spell, they use mana in their turn instead of mine. Consider. Put in play both Consider and Preordain. 
I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, to be honest. I still have to think about what list of Merc that I want to play. See, I consider is bad. I don't really want to play consider. Okay, they're, they're in Delirium, so there's nothing I can do with my mini-cannon growth. They pass in one card in and only. Let's see if that, that counterspell we talked about. Maybe they just side out counterspell. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Bantaji, thank you so much for the fourth month. Welcome. And casting a generation without a land drop and finding a land is just one of the happiest moments. Especially if you break down land earlier. I consider it such a weak card. Like, you look at a card, like, it's so weak compared to. Preordain and. You know. Like, now that we tried it, I don't want to go back. Now that we have the better ones, I don't want to go back. Uh, I think I want to go Shredder on Only Heat this turn. Opponent let me resolve the draw discard, it means they don't have um, a, ca a lining bolt, so I don't need to hold me any growth for that. Easy game. Prowess has always been fine against the Merc Tide. As a Merc Tide player, I always struggle against uh, the card Underworld Breach. This game kind of, I don't know, my opponent just had some medium medium spells and we had like a many one for many two for ones and I win the game with two breach and express iteration in my hand. Overall I think it was a good league. Um black red scam was uh, not a good matchup and I think it's I can accept it I guess. There's not that much you can do uh against Fury Scam uh, every game on turn one or two. It is it is what it is and you gotta accept it. Um but otherwise, the deck is good, and I think that Preordain is a massive improvement to the deck. Like, it's just a massive improvement. Because, again, before... Oh, people would give this up. Thank you, people. 3-2. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think this list is good, honestly. I don't... I wouldn't play Sprite Dragon at this, in the state. And, um, I mean, I mean, sideboard is kind of, like, thrown, uh, thrown together. We didn't play against Cascade, but, you know. You have to respect the matchup for sure. Uh, just gave up is it? I don't know. I feel like I feel like either is fine. There's not gonna be a massive change. Like if you have white splash, you put wear tear here, you put prismatic ending here, and maybe here. But then you have to play like two steam vents main, maybe more fetches, because you wanna have at least what, like twelve sources? I don't know, ten sources. But even that ten sources is so little, like if you want to go turn one wear tear, you need 14 sources. You can never have that, so I don't know. It's tough. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you arrived to here. Have a good day.